new music by the drop. Ain't that what I gave you last? For this heavyweight fight, more than five years apart, with similar height. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. All right, Sugar Rashad Evans, the former champ, ready to go for round one. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. The first round finishes came early and often when he began his MMA career, but only one since his third professional fight. It came against Chael Sonnen in 2013. Rashad Evans ready to go as he takes the center of the octagon. Oh! Watch the shot here, Joe. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with a hero. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Try to establish that jab. Oh, flipped him with the jab. Slips that left hand. And a right behind it. Oh, a huge block there. Keeps going back to the... Oh! Big huge right hand. hand! He's hurt here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening oh! round here. some brutal ground and pound for the KO. Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man, not just looking to score. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Diaz is two years his senior. He is one inch taller. He will. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. It's in Barboza with the kick to the body. Oh, nice oh. right hand. Oh! He's definitely hurt. No! Very nice. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Trying to kick the leg out. Check that one. Effective punch there by Diaz. Damaging oh. strike there. He's hurt. Looked like he He's did hurt. stun him a little bit. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, he hurt him again. He hurt him. He's rocked. Boom. Shin to the dome. Nice leg kick. How about that shin? Oh, hit kick. Locked, though, by Diaz. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. These leg kicks are extremely powerful from Barboza. Oh, no doubt about it, Joe. I don't have to tell you, those leg kicks will really slow you down. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. Misses with the jab. Body kick, look at that. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's getting hit. Hurt him with that right. Big Pitch body shot. shot. Body. Oh, very nice. Oh, we heard him again. He's in trouble. He's in 
trouble. There, huge block. Oh, oh, double jab. Diaz gets touched by that kick right to the body. There, nicely done by the opponent. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn. The round is over. Talking about this one's all. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Oh! He's hurt! He got hurt very, very badly. on his body. Oh! Oh, head kick! Barboza's kick to the body is blocked. It looks like he's limping. He tagged him again. He's hurt. He's in big, big trouble. Oh! oh. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here's a different angle on it. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! Great fight. Dos Santos is 34. Dunham is 36. Dos Santos weighed in. Here you go, first one. You ready? You ready? Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. Good defense there. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Sagano. Dunham gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he got back with the jab there, Joe, and his head is fully on the center line. The one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Kick oh. to the head legs. He's stuck. He's got him right here. short. Inside leg kick is there by JDS. And lands inside again. Oh, doing a damn good job with those leg kicks, Joe. Oh! Oh, he's oh. rocked. That one hurt him badly. Vicious combinations. Dos Santos gets
gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Dunham's leg is compromised a little bit here, Joe. You see him starting to limp. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds to go in round one. Thought there might be an opening for the punch there, Joe. Instead, a swing and a miss. Oh, nice single. Look at that. Round two is next. And there is the horn. Got to feel good going back to the stool after that round. Great round. All right, let's get to round two. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Wow! He's in a lot of trouble and really starting to make these shots count. Kick KO for the victory. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at 51 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Knockout Junior, Chicago Bulls. Main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Just misses with the jet. Cummins gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Alir Latif. <laughs> Cummins gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Hammer fist lands. Oh! Oh, big shot from the top. Latifi gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. on the ground really excellent excellent job yeah joe that was some throwback style ground and pound he was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas he wasn't looking to score there he was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there well mission accomplished on that front this is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career check it out again crank right on the jaw 
Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Patrick Hammers! So just...